Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Faith, aka Zestamon. Thank you for joining me today, guys. If you're new here, welcome. I am excited to have you on my channel, okay? So please watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe and <laughs> do not forget to subscribe okay and if you're a returning viewer and subscriber you already know i love you thank you so much for joining me again on today's video so on today's video i'm going to film in my first q and a <laughs> okay so this q and a came about with my first my introduction video i just you know tried to say a few things about myself and some of my friends were like no it was too short you did not answer some questions so i was like okay drop your questions in the comment section let me know i put on my whatsapp i put on my instagram you know follow me on instagram my handle will be here i'm gonna put it here connect let's connect together let's be friends okay follow me on ig so i put on my ig i was like um got questions for me and i got a couple of questions <laughs> and i'm like today we're gonna answer it i'm gonna answer these questions so join me as I answer these questions, okay? Get to know more about me, okay? Okay, so the first question says, how did you come up with the name Zest? Okay, so I heard the name Zest for the first time in 2017. I was having a conversation with my pastor's wife and she was trying to describe something and she was like, oh, this is going to have Zest. When you have Zest, I was like, what is Zest, 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 Zest? Do you understand? I wasn't lost in the conversation because I understood the concept. I also what she was trying to say, but I did not know the exact meaning of what the word meant. Okay, and I felt like the name was so cute. I was like, let me go and check it out. So you know, upon looking it up online, I saw that the meaning was um, um energy or passionate. When you're passionate about something, you have zest for something. Do you understand? So I was just like, this resonates with me. This is. This is this is like my personality to be to be very candid. I'm very passionate. I'm passionate about life, I'm passionate about my business, I'm passionate about my family, I'm passionate about my friends, I'm passionate about everyone around me, genesis, about my loved ones, and I have energy. <laughs> have you met me? I have energy for days. I kid you not. So you know, I just felt like that resonated with me, and I was like, I put myself then and there. I was like, if I have a business later on in life. I would name it Zest. I'm serious. I told myself I like this name, and if I had any, I did not know what I was going to do. But I said if I had a business, whatever it may be, maybe fashion, maybe clothing, whatever it was going to be, I was going to name it Zest. So that is how I came about the name Zest. Okay. So the second question says, my best and worst moments in my life. Okay. Let's start with this. My best moment was obviously was the day I got married to my husband. Ah. <sighs> I always relieve that day in my in my mind. Those two days, the trout and the white, Friday and Saturday, they were beautiful. Especially the white it was just a beautiful moment. Ah, I wouldn't trade those moments for anything. They were just so precious. The precious moments, yeah. So those, that's, that was my best moments in my life okay worst moments i'm not sure i have a worst moment though yes i've had bad times or bad moments but the worst oh. no i don't think i don't think i've had a worst moment in my life okay so the next question says how do you combine your job and your business okay so for my friend that sent this question jennifer let me call you out here i'm sure she doesn't know that i'm not a full-time entrepreneur but i'll answer the question because i just i mean i became a full-time entrepreneur just a few months so i've been doing my job and my business for about four years already so okay i would like combine it it was not easy i'm not even going to lie to you let me give you a brief breakdown <laughs> i was working in the bank and doing my business so imagine oh my god imagine um you know coming back from work at about 6 p.m 6 30 to 7 and i jumped and i jumped straight into my business like i start making wigs styling wigs doing this doing sometimes i barely eat like 
it, it, it takes a passionate person to do that. <laughs> I can't lie to you. It takes you doing what you love to sacrifice, you know, your time for those things. Just I'm trying to say, if it's not something you love doing, uh, you may have, you might just feel like giving up. To be very calm, and that was not even mean I did not feel like giving up. Sometimes it was very hectic. Sometimes it was very stressful. I used to sleep very late. I still do. <laughs> Maybe can't do it. I still do. But at least it wasn't. It wasn't like then. That time was. It was. Uh, I just loved my business so much. I was just really passionate about it. It was my own baby, so I wanted to see it succeed, right? So it wasn't easy. So you need to be very hardworking to be able to combine. It's only in Lagos, Nigeria. In Nigeria, hello. <laughs> Sometimes I slept by one, sometimes I slept by and I was waking up again by six the next morning to go to work. That was my routine. That was my routine. But because I loved it, I just loved making wigs. I was always looking forward to coming home just to and I was always very excited about getting orders. Like, ah, I have a new wig to make. <laughs> you don't know what you are doing. <laughs> if you don't know what you are doing, I don't think you'll be able to um sacrifice so much. So do what you love, okay? Do what you love. <laughs> All right. So, so he asked, how did you get the name Zest Woman? Okay, my business is Zest Signature, like I said earlier. And you know how on Instagram, when somebody patronizes you, you say maybe the name of your business is Queen Queen Hairs. You say something like um, Queen Lady, or you know, uh, <laughs> you know, people always say. Uh, maybe you're, you're, you're maybe you're doing something, and somebody you know patronizes you. I want to describe your your, your customers. I like to say, oh, hey, this is a zest lady for patronizing zest nature. Do you get that kind of thing? A lot of people do it on Instagram. So I was like, oh, what can I call the ladies that patronize me? You know, as a as our you know, I, I do not describe it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm calling them zest woman, right? So people's business can be. H and N. You can just say, oh, H N N Queen. Do you guys, do you guys get it now? So that's why I came up with the name. Oh, I'm serious. Like I just feel like, oh, okay. Anybody that patronizes this signature, I call them Zest Woman. Yeah, it's Zest Woman patronizing Zest, right? That's why I came about it. I'm supposed to call them Zest Woman, Zest Woman, Zest Woman, and <laughs> we are here. <laughs> so that's how I got the name Zest Woman. Okay. Somebody said, where did you learn your skill? <laughs> That's a story <laughs> for another day. I learned my skill in 2017. Um, I learned it. How did I learn? I I, I never trained to. Uh, I never trained for my skill. Like I never went to a school to learn how to make wig, or I never learned from somebody. I just learned it online. I just watch you know one video, another video, practice. With that, I think it was from NYC. You know Said now. For those that are Nigeria, Said, Said is like um, entrepreneurship class in Cam. So I went to makeup class, and the man also taught us how to make wig for the first time. I've been looking forward to it, guys. I don't like making my hair. <laughs> God, I don't like making my hair. So I've always been looking forward. So I was a little girl. The day we are going to have something that just easily just throw on and <laughs> we are going to go, even to do all back, I cannot do more than seven. I give me that day. Oh yeah, now I think I can be very dramatic. I, so I, I think the the wig life. I've just been looking forward to it. Like okay, one day we'll have something that'll be very easy. Just very easy. Just run ahead and we've gone right. So inside, <laughs> let me jump back to my story. So inside, I went to the makeup class because I wanted to learn wig, right? And the woman came on this, she brought some kinky curls and she's like, I'm going to get I was really excited. I, I really found my way to the front. Because <laughs> so I wanted to watch. I was so keen. I was like, wow, okay. And when the woman was done, I saw how she took bundles. And when she was done, and she watched on the girl's head, I was like, ah, <laughs> we're gonna learn this skill. This skill, we're gonna learn it. So that's how. <laughs> that's how I came about the I just started trying to learn, watching one or two videos. Will you call me a self thought with me that okay so i never really went i just i just kept practicing practicing making mistakes practicing practicing in the night i come up from work fact guys i'm going to do an entire story time on how my business came to be okay so yes that is how i learned my skill i self-learned my skill okay someone said 
Please give us tips on how to maintain our wig. Oh. Okay, I'll give you one tip. <laughs> one tip, although I, I plan to film an, another video on uh, maintaining your wigs, but I'll give you one tip. Have your leave-in conditioner, have your spray bottle, put your leave-in conditioner, put a little bit of water, mix it, and spray for curly wigs, right? So that's a tip. But you guys just watch out. I'm here. I'm here for you guys. I'm going to be. I'm going to be giving you guys, you know, head tips, showing you guys how to make wigs, how to revamp, how to style. I'm excited. I can't wait to share all that knowledge. Okay. So the next question says, <laughs> nine to five versus entrepreneurship. Which do I prefer? <laughs> Should I be candid? Should I? <laughs> Should I be candid? <laughs> For me, <laughs> me, zest one. I mean, I already call myself zest one, so you guys should know already. <laughs> I prefer entrepreneurship. Okay? Why? Um, it gives you time. It has its pros and has its cons. Don't let anybody. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> I even saw a video on um, on Instagram. A guy was jumping on water. They said the life of entrepreneurs or something like that. It's not easy, but. I mean, just set yourself. What do you like? Do you understand? If you're a career person, all well and good. If you're a business person, all well and good. Do you understand? Set yourself. Know what you know. Know what you can do. What you're good at. And doesn't mean that you know um, there are lots of challenges in doing business. I will. In fact, I'll make another video entirely just for that <laughs> in this my little time little time doing business i will just you know talk to you guys about it okay but for me i prefer entrepreneurship i have my time ah no i can't trade it for anything ah <laughs> i have my time but i'm always most of the time i'm, I'm even very busy but i like the fact that i'm doing um, what is giving me fulfillment it's my baby it's my it's my it's my brand do you understand i get to treat it a certain way i tr i get to meet people i get to connect to people i love entrepreneurship ah it's not easy though because some people just give you head and say i want it tomorrow i want it tomorrow i want it they can it comes with, with its own pressures right nine to five my nine to five days ah i i enjoyed it to say the least but i just knew that you know no i i I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I'm a full so because sometimes I'm in the office and I'm like, is it three yet? Is it four? I have weeks to make. Is it five? That's what I was as in not because I was just jobless or anything, but you could see that my heart was somewhere else, right? As in my, my house used to be pulling me like this. And not because I'm going to go and lie down and watching Netflix. Because I was going to go and work. I was always excited to come back. So do what you're passionate about. It might not you might not do it immediately, but you can work towards it, yeah? So, so not a long story, guys. I <laughs> prefer entrepreneurship. It is not easy, but it's what I love. It's what I'm passionate about. And, you know, I intend on seeing my brand become a success. I intend on, you know, having my time to be able to do my... I can know what I've achieved in a day. Do you understand? So, I can, I can work towards setting goal. It's easier that way. Do you understand? <laughs> someone said, someone is asking, how is married life compared to being single? <laughs> ah, let me not lie to you, I'm enjoying married life. <laughs> let me not lie, let me be as, what's the word? Let me be as truthful. As I can be, ah, guys. I'm enjoying my life. I, I prefer my life. Well, I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed. To. I got. A, I got a couple of questions about relationships, guys. I don't see myself as a relationship coach, but I will see what I can do. Right? I will see how I can put my words. You know, you know bring out my feelings. You know, put it into words. Arrange it. You know, and see what I can tell you guys. Right? But how is my life compared to a single? I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying my life, you know, to the glory of God. I'm enjoying my life. It, um, you have a, you have your best friend with you. You always have something to say. The companionship, the love, the friendship, you know. I'm just in your corner. You guys, you know, talking about the future, talking about, you know, what you want to achieve. It's like, like it's stronger. I don't know. I don't have to describe it. Uh, 
with God at the center. A threefold cord cannot be broken. Hey, I'm preaching. <laughs> but with God at the center, I, I, I enjoy. I mean, I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying. Not to say that single life was boring. You know, I was doing my business. I had my job. You know, I was um, I was doing other things to have my social life. I still have my social life too, but long and short, I was my it's, 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 it's amazing, right? It's amazing. I thank God. I thank God for it. I thank God for it. Okay. Okay. Somebody is asking, did you have all the money before your wedding, and how did it come or happen? Wow. He's like um, <laughs> wedding planning story. If I answer this question, <laughs> if I answer this question, we are going to sleep here, you know. And and because I can tell stories, I can like to talk in this life. <laughs> we might just sleep here, but I'm going to have another Q and A, a part two, so that I don't want to make this video long, guys. I, I, I don't, I don't want to make this video long. So I'm going to have um another video where I'm going to talk about this, about planning your wedding budget, hey, money. <laughs> Money matters, vendor matters, wedding matters. I will talk about it, okay? Someone said, When did I realize I was in love with my husband? Ah, <laughs> when did I realize? I think I was like in 20, like 2020, right? When I couldn't wait to video call him, I couldn't wait to hear him, I couldn't wait to hear him, I couldn't wait to hear from him. I don't know. How I don't know how to describe it, guys. What you guys are like? <laughs> you know, you know when you're always, you're always been a hard girl, hard girl. All your life, you're always been a hard girl. Then you come, you're like, this person, mm, mm. you're always, you're always, ah, uh, you're a very meticulous person, yeah. So that kind of person I've always been, I've always been a hard girl, hard girl. So seeing that, I couldn't wait to talk to somebody. I couldn't wait to hear from the person. I just wanted to see the person. I just it's like you like this guy. I'm always wanting to hear from him. I'm always eager to see his chat. I'm always eager to see his call. Girl, you're falling in love. <laughs> I'll do, I will talk about that, you know, with time. You'll get to know that. All right, so I have another question here that says, What advice will you give singles? <laughs> I'm not a relationship coach. <laughs> A relationship expert but what i would say what i did i will tell you what i have done right i wouldn't come on me saying one thing one thing so what i'll say is that um when you're still single just keep waiting keep serving god okay and keep preparing i cannot overemphasize so that when the opportunity comes you're already ready is that english really um in your waiting season just be prepping yourself be prepping yourself okay and when i say prepping yourself for me i listen to a lot of messages i listen to a lot it might not apply to everybody that's how that's what i'm saying i'm going to tell you what i did right i'm not, I'm not saying that that's what brought me the guy no i'm just saying that when you're still single right and you're waiting for marriage to come here just you know just keep Serve, just be serving God, right? Um, serve God. Um, prepare yourself. There's something like preparation. So when the opportunity comes, you will know. <laughs> you will know that this is the right person. How did I do it? For me, I I listened to a lot of messages. I was um, I was reading books. I listened. But for me, some persons might not be um, book, they might not be book persons, they might not like to sit and read in one book. You can always listen. On YouTube, there are a lot of teachings on marriage, on relationship. Just keep prepping yourself. Keep prepping yourself. Keep prepping yourself. So when the first person comes, you're ready. You're not trying to go out one or two, one or two. The messages that you're, that you're listening to, they've already shaped you, right? They've already formed you, they've already, they've already said building you. So when the right person comes, it should just be very, there's no time to be doing darling <laughs> or wasting. All right, so I have come to the end of this <laughs> <Q &A. laughs> So I've come to the end of this Q&A. If you still have questions for me, like I said, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to have another Q&A in part two. 
so I can answer some questions that you know <laughs> will take time. <laughs> that will take time. So if you have questions for me, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have any question for me at all, drop it in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer all of them in my next q &A. Thank you so much for watching till this time. If you're new here, please subscribe. Please subscribe, okay? This is me telling you, please subscribe. All right, please give it a like. I think it's like this. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up up okay comment down below let me know what you think how do i do okay <laughs> and i'll be sure to see you in my next video okay bye <laughs>